Hey y'all, welcome back to Home With The Repeats. I just wanted to put a quick little intro on today's video. This is a throwback video. That just means this video was originally posted over on my other channel, Cook, Clean & Repeat. And I want to post it over here where all of my home and decor related videos now live. So this video is either from a year or two ago, maybe even three years ago, but I hope you will still enjoy it. And I hope you will enjoy this kind of little blast from the past. Here we go, y'all. Alrighty, so this is the view when you first walk in my front door. To the left is my office, and then straight ahead is our long, narrow foyer. So over to the right, I just have a little bench that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace so people can take their shoes off and get cozy and everything when they come in. And then back to the left, like I said, is my office. So here's a look at it. Look at that Christmas ball over there, you guys. I just saw it when I'm filming this. <laughs> and side note, I'm still not done. So things will probably change even after this. But anyway, I have this little pencil tree in here that I just got from Walmart this year. I just added some Merry Christmas ribbon and some little picks, some little snowballs to it. I just added it in here because I don't have a lot of room, as you can see with our desk. But I love having that Christmas tree in the front window there. So that's a perfect option if you don't have a lot of space. And then as far as everything else in here, I just added a few Christmas trees and a few little other kind of decorative pieces in here. Nothing too crazy, but just to give it a little bit of festiveness, is that a word? Now it is in here. So we're gonna move on out, but also I have this little post right here. I got it from an antique festival and I really love it. I think it's so cute. The little lantern I got last year from Peppermint Forest. And I just think that's a fun little touch when you walk in to have that candle inside there burning. I just think that's so cute. So let's walk on in to the foyer. You'll come first to our little entryway table back up over here so y'all can see so I did it just a little bit different this year in a little bit different of a style I had this little tree here or this larger tree actually but it is kind of bumped up in this basket but I got it from Walmart last year and I'm pretty sure they still have it this year but anyway I just thought it looked kind of cute in that narrow basket so I just have some pillows in there kind of lifting it up a little bit and then on the entryway table, I just decided to do something a little bit more simple, simple to me anyway. Um, so I just added a few different little Christmas trees and these flickering candles on top. They're faux candles, so no need to worry about that. And on the bottom, I just added a few of those little houses that are at Target right now, pretty much everywhere actually but I had a few galvanized ones and then I did pick up the two white ones this year. And then down here on the bottom, I have some snow with some fairy lights underneath, just giving off that cool little effect. I just think that is so pretty and I love the way the entryway table is still cozy, but it's simple this year. And then up here, just on this little wrought iron piece, I just got this glittery kind of champagne color wreath from TJ Maxx. And to add a pop of color, I just tied on some ribbon, this little bow that came from Hobby Lobby, I think. Just tied that on there, just to add that pop of red. And then here's a look with the light off when you walk in. I love those flickering faux candles. It's just welcoming and cozy. And then down there on the bottom with the little village. I just think it's so cute. Okay, so if you turn back to your left, you'll come to our dining room. This is a look at it, and we're gonna go on in there and I'll show you guys where everything is from and how everything looks in here. So y'all might have seen my place settings this year in my decorate with me that I did, but I did find some actual white dinner plates to go on top of my chargers. I just got these from TJ Maxx 
and then the rest is from Hobby Lobby, except for the napkins. They're from Tuesday morning a couple years ago. But anyway, I just went with a really traditional kind of tablescape in here. I really love it, and I love eating dinner in here as a family. It's just so cozy again. That's like my word to describe my Christmas decor is cozy. So anyway, over here on this wall, I have this Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas sign. Last year it was on our mantle, but I decided to put it in here this year. And I got it from Hobby Lobby last year, and then I also just strung these beads on here. Again, just to add that pop of red. So I think it ties in with the traditional look of the dining room. I do have a blanket ladder over here as well, but I don't have any blankets on it right now. So then we'll come over to the hutch, but the hutch is one thing that I'll probably keep messing with as time goes on because I don't love it, to be completely honest. But for the sake of getting this video out to you guys, this is what it is so far. So I just have some of those extra plates that I did have on there. I ended up putting my gingerbread house in here and a couple other things that I used for my tiered trays in my video the other day. I do think it's pretty cute. So this is my little hutch in here. So this is the Christmas tree in the dining room. It's definitely more traditional. I used lots of reds, even more greenery for my topper. I just stuck a bunch of greenery picks up there. Pretty sure all those came from Hobby Lobby. And then I use this green kind of net ribbing all throughout. I have like four of these berry balls in there. I just love those. Very traditional, kind of that earthy, organic-ish Christmas. And then also I have some pops of gold and silver, even some green. I really love this tree. And I love this tree also because it's not flopped. But you can see it has some of the little flopped branches on it. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like a midway between, you know, a regular tree and a flopped tree. And I got it from Belk last year and I do not recommend it. I don't like this tree, but I like the way it looks. So I got that and then I just have a cheap little Walmart um, Christmas tree skirt on the bottom. All right, so we're going to move on out into the main living area. So we'll come this way. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light off and show y'all it in here with the light dimmed actually because it's just really pretty. So I've just been leaving this light dimmed, especially at night when everything is all lit up. I just think it is so fun. Like I said, this is like my favorite place to eat right now. Okay, so that brings us to the main living area, which is my favorite. It has the most going on. And I really, really love how it turned out this year. So I'm gonna walk on into the living room. I don't have too much going on over here, but I'll show you the TV. This is that channel, Autumn Cozy, that I've mentioned to y'all. They have like the cutest little stuff to like put on for relaxation, like on your computer or I guess your phone too. But I like to put them on the TV, you know, just for like background noise or something like that. I have our stockings hanging down here. I do have some stocking holders that I need to put up there, but I couldn't find them. I'm like missing some stuff this year. Anyway, so that's where they are for now. I have this little, actually it's a big pitcher over here with just some frosted um, twigs and some berries in it. Just something tall to bring a little bit of height over here. And then I don't really change this wall too much. I just add that little picture there. And then we'll move on to our fireplace, which I absolutely love. I love this whole area, how it looks. Y'all ignore this cord. I need to hide it better, but it is what it is. It's not perfect. So we'll start up here and then we'll work our way down. So since I went with a flopped tree this year, I just went ahead and used a flopped wreath, also the garland. And I got the garland and wreath from Walmart and then I just added in everything. I added in different little picks, like these silver ones. There's some feathers up here. And then I also added in two kinds of ribbon, this mesh and kind of this, it reminded me of sort of burlap. It kind of gave me that rustic glam feel. I know it's not burlap, but it's just the color. Y'all know what I'm saying. It just looks a little bit like it. And then I added in the pops of red with just a few ornaments on the garland. 
And then as far as on top of the mantle, I just, I already had the twig tree, so I did purchase the little white fur ones and the super glittery ones. And then this Believe sign, I'm pretty sure it came from Hobby Lobby, but I've had it a few years now. So that's a look at my mantle. I love how the flocked and all the white and everything stands out on the rock. It just kind of softens it and again makes it feel cozy to me. And of course you can't go wrong with a fire. It is really cold right now, so that's actually perfect. And then down here, this is one thing that I'm excited about this year. The past couple years I've been looking for a barn or a stable for my Mary Joseph and baby Jesus. Well, I found this one and I love it because the top is kind of that flopped look and it was nice and big, so I thought, but y'all, when I got it home, I could not fit Joseph in there. So my nativity was one kind of like this. It was a Mary holding baby Jesus and they fit in there, but Joseph didn't. So I had to find a new one. So I found these at Burke's Outlet and I think they're really cute because I love the colors that they're wearing and then they have a little bit of glitter on them. So they fit in perfectly with my theme, but I need to add some other stuff to it. So anyway, I just have them sitting over here on the corner on top of this white fur little throw. And I just put some greenery picks on either side just to kind of spruce it up a little bit. But I love having it here. I really went back and forth on where I wanted to put my nativity because I want it to be somewhere we saw all the time. You know, since it is the reason for this season, I want it to be in our main focal point. So I'm glad that we put that in here. And then over here on this side, we have some festive little cookies out waiting and this little tree over here. Again, another tree from Hobby Lobby. And these little cookies down here, they're not real, but I saw these at Cracker Barrel and I just thought they were like the prettiest little ornaments ever. That's what they actually are ornaments. You can see a little hook right there, but does that not look like a real cookie? And I love the sparkles on them. I just knew I had to get some. So I just thought that was a super cute idea to have them kind of sitting over here on the plate, like they're just waiting for Santa. And then I just put that on top of this little pedestal that I got from Ross, I think. I'm not quite sure, I've had that a while, but just have that sitting there and I love it. So now we're gonna move on over to the main tree. So here's a look at it, along with the mantle and everything. You can see how it all kind of ties in together. So this tree is a King of Christmas, seven foot Prince flocked tree. And I will have a discount code for y'all down in the description box. This is the best tree I've ever owned. And I promise I'm not telling you guys that. It is so full and luscious. Like you don't even have to put anything on it. It is so gorgeous. I love it. So. For the topper, I just added a bunch of different picks. I have some gold, some silver, some champagne color, even some white. Just added all of that. And then I have this little jingle sign that I got from at home. Again, I added the two different kinds of ribbon and then all sorts of ornaments that are just like the silver. I have some champagne. I have some that are a little bit more gold with some glitter on there. And then again, with just pops of red throughout the tree. Also, I have some burlap in here to pull in that rustic. Like I said, I really love this tree. This is probably my favorite tree that I've done. And then down here on the bottom, I do have my galvanized um, tree color that I got last year. And I found these little presents, these little lighted gifts, I should say at Ross this year and my plan is to change out the ribbon like I wanted to change out the ribbon to something that you know matched more with the tree even made burlap but I haven't done that yet so I think that's cute enough as it is it adds in with the pops of red all right so I'm just gonna back up a little bit and show y'all our little centerpiece on the coffee table as well as the couch I had these two pillowcases last year they came from Amazon very, very cheap, so I just added those back to the couch this year. Also, I got that Believe pillow from Ross last year. But then I did pick up this throw from Ross this year. It's white and it has gold snowflakes on it. Really, really cute. So the couch is pretty simple. 
and then we'll come down here to my coffee table centerpiece which is probably one of my favorite things so I had been looking for a Santa Claus another thing I really didn't have and I actually found this one at a grocery store if you live in North Carolina I found it at Harris Teeter so I love it I love the color he has on he has kind of that champagne color on the little Christmas tree there and so he's kind of rustic glam in my opinion I was gonna switch out this ribbon because I didn't really care for it and put like a burlap ribbon and a red ribbon to kind of tie everything in but again I haven't done that yet so anyway He's just sitting over here beside a lantern with a candle. And then I added in some ornaments down here just to accent this little tray some more. Then I have this little striped table runner on here. Again, just to add in that pop of red. Now we're gonna walk into my kitchen and my little seating area over here. I do have another small flock tree just down here in this corner, right beside the stairs. So let's go in here to the little sunroom first. So some of y'all might realize that I did move the tree over here into the corner. We did have it right here in the middle, but it was just bugging me because it was right behind this chandelier that we need to actually change out. But we haven't yet, so it was just bugging me anyway. We have this tree in here, and this is more of our family tree. So it's just a regular green tree, and the lights can change to different colors or white, but my favorite is actually the ones that are red and white, like we have on right now. And this one just has all of our family ornaments, the ones that we've gotten for the girls over the years and places we've been. But I went with a green and red and then also black and white theme with this tree. And then the topper again is just some fun picks up there. And then the bottom is just a cheap throw that I got from Walmart. Just wrapped it around there. And then coming on in here I have these two chairs. This is just kind of our little seating area. I got the two pillows from the Target dollar section this year. I got Mary and Bright and then Made with Love Mrs. Claus Cookie Company. And then I wanted to keep it pretty simple in here. So I just have the lamp that's pretty much here all the time. And then over here I just have a candle burning and I have this cute little camper that just sits here. And then Santa Claus that I've had for years and years just sitting over here on the corner and then that brings us over here to our piano this is just where we keep it um, my oldest daughter does play the piano so on top of it I just have a couple lamps I have this greenery wreath that's not necessarily Christmas but again I just tied on another red ribbon to it I have a couple of candles and then I have this Jim Shore um, Santa Claus that my mom gave me for my anniversary or something I can't remember that this is the first year that I've gotten to put him out and I really love him so that's what this looks like again pretty simple and then I just put the Merry Christmas to all little sign down here she can move that when she wants to play but that's a look in here okay so coming into our kitchen area I say it on every video but just in case you're new here I don't add that much decor to my kitchen because we do a lot of cooking in here and I just like it to be nice and open and clean so right here on our island I just have this little tray with this cute little Christmas tree I think I got that from TJ Maxx this year and a little greenery that I got from um, Target this year just with a little candle in here and then up above, we DIY'd these lanterns because we didn't have any pendants over our island and we wanted some. So I do have a video on that. I'll try to remember to link it if you're interested in seeing how we did that. But they're just lanterns that we got from Kirkland's and they do light up. They're just both flickering candles in there. And I just added some little berry candle rings around the candles in there. And then over here on the stove, or above the stove, I should say, I just added another red berry wreath. I just love how it pops on the white cabinets up there. 
and then down here below we have this noodle board that my husband Darren built for me so sorry I can't leak that for you guys but then on top I have a tray with some more little gingerbread ornaments like some little cookies that came out of the oven sitting on top and then this cute little mug that I got from Walmart this year just sitting there on top and then hanging below I just have two little Christmas towels and over here on the side on the right side of the stove I just have this little rolling pin that I got from Hobby Lobby that I just stuck in here with all of my wooden spoons and then I have this salt and pepper shaker set that I got from TJ Maxx this year that I just decided to sit right there so then we'll come over on this side of the stove and you'll notice I don't have that much decor actually y'all I took down all my tiered trays I don't know just something about them it was just too much so I took them all down I know I'm crazy so anyway I just have my little Santa uh, Ray Dunn mug and my Keurig over here another little greenery thing and I do have some hot cocoa Hershey kisses actually y'all I just realized I saw these last year from Megan on her channel and we've been hooked on them ever since so thank you Megan for that and then over here I just decided instead of decor this year I just wanted to set these glass canisters out with my flour sugar and brown sugar because you know we're in here cooking and baking anyway and I think it just looks festive so that's all I put out for my decor in my kitchen and I do have my little rug down here the buffalo check one is from Hobby Lobby and the snowman one is from Dollar General and then of course up above we have our little produce scale that I just filled with some greenery and some picks things like that so this is our kitchen for Christmas the only other thing over there I have that little North Pole warming station sign that I thought was kind of cute beside our little weekly menu again my husband Darren made the weekly menu that part came from Hobby Lobby but just thought that was fitting warming station what you're gonna have for dinner I don't know about you but that warms me up it makes me feel all good inside and then this is our mud room in here it didn't really do anything just had that little candle and the countdown to Christmas so we'll turn back this way and let's head upstairs and check out the bedrooms also really quick this is one of my favorite views just from in the kitchen you see all the trees and everything just so cozy Here's a little bit of real life for you. As I'm filming this, my kids got home and there's all their stuff. So literally 10 minutes ago, you guys saw it. This is how it usually looks. <laughs> so anyway, let's head upstairs and take a look up here. Here is a view of the upstairs. We just hung some lighted garland along the railing up here. So that's another thing that I want to add. I wanted to add some more picks and bows to each of the little points right here but I haven't done that yet so oh well so let's go take a look at my daughter Hayden who is five let's look in her room all right so I kept it pretty simple in here just because you know five-year-olds need a lot of room to play so that's the main main idea in here but she has this little wreath that they actually made last year I let them go to Hobby Lobby and just pick out all different picks and they stuck them in she actually told me where she wanted hers and I helped her but anyway that's her wreath she made last year and then over here on her bed I just added a Merry Christmas pillow that actually came from Cracker Barrel I just loved it because it had all the pinks in there I just thought that was really cute for her room this little pom-pom banner is always here over her bed and then over here beside her bed on her little toy caddy I just added this little believe sign that came from Big Lots and also this little ornament tree came from Big Lots and of course she made that one at school last year so we have those sitting there and then over here on her little table we just put her tree on top of that they of course decorated their trees themselves so it's a tiny tree this is the tree that she wanted to use this year but it has the colored lights and huge ornaments all over it and then down below I just had this Merry Christmas crate that I wasn't using so I thought it would be perfect to stick down here and just put some of her Christmas books in there so I didn't do anything in our playroom but here's what it looks like there's enough going on in here so I really didn't decorate in here this year 
And now we will go on into my nine-year-old's room. Here's a look at it. I love her room. Love how it turned out. So she liked to decorate her room like any nine-year-old would. So she strung these little lights up here along her bed and she made this little um, Santa wreath last year. And she normally has a kind of blue feathery bedspread, but for the time being, for Christmas, I went ahead and just added this white quilt that I already had. And then I picked up this blue blanket with silver snowflakes. I picked it up from Ross and I just love it. I love it draped over the bed with her coral pillows. It just kind of has like a, a nutcracker vibe to me. So, and then I found this pillow right here from TJ Maxx. It's also a blue color. It's looking more gray on camera, but it's actually blue. And it has some um, little beads on there. Just real sparkly and really cute. Then we'll come over this way. If you're wondering what's on her desk, she loves to paint and I let her do her thing, so that's that. But there's her tree. She's had this tree a couple years now. It came from Walmart. And of course she decorated it all herself. She just has a sparkly silver tree skirt down there. And then I found her this little sparkly tree topper at Ross. So I just put that up there for her. And then she has this little mosquito net with a little chair in there where she can get in there and read. So I just added a sparkly little pillow in there that we already had. And then here is her dresser area. So we're gonna get her a new dresser. This one I painted when I was pregnant with her. It needs to be redone, so just ignore that. But up above, I found this banner that is just so cute. If you guys are new, we do camp. So it has the little campers on there with Christmas trees and the little scooter, which she has one and she loves it. So I knew this was perfect for her and it even matched with her colors I was decorating in. So I just hung that up there for her. And then down here on the bottom, I have more of those trees from Big Lots. And also this little camper came from Big Lots. We need to put the batteries in it still, but it does light up, let's see lights up like that so I just thought it was so cute and I thought it went with her theme I thought it was so cute and I just thought it looked really cute in here especially with her campers and everything she has going on so that's a look at her room last and probably actually least <laughs> we'll come into our bedroom I did not do a whole lot in here but I did want to add some festive little touches I had never decorated in our room here before so I added these little tartan tartan whatever however you say it pillows that I've had they have the fur around them I added those and then I found this super soft red throw almost at a rug from Ross that had that same type of fur around it. I feel like it's just so luscious and it looks like it would be like wrapping up in Santa's, you know, coat or something. So anyway, I just threw that over the bed with the pillows. Did I say that one came from Ross in the front? And then up above, I found this picture from Kirkland's. It just says Merry Christmas. It has a wood frame that matches our bed. Again, my husband built our bed as well. We'd like to get a new one, but anyway, so that picture matches it. And I kind of just went for a super rustic, almost like a cabiny feel in here. So I just added a little lantern over here on my nightstand. I'll bring us over here to the dresser. So I have this tree. Um, I've mentioned in my clean with me that some of the lights are out. I don't even have time to put any in there, but I'm going to because I love this tree and I don't want to get rid of it. So I just have another little throw down here. It was on the bed until I found the red one. But again, I'm using that as a tree skirt. And I just felt like leaving this one plain. Since I'm going for that rustic cabin feel, it's just like a lighted um, or a lit pine tree in here. And I just thought that look was really pretty. So over on the dresser, I just added some more garland with just some white lights. And then we have those two candles over there that I do not keep lit. They're only lit for this video. 
and that's pretty much it. Let me back up and give y'all kind of the overview. Like I said, not too much going on in here. Just a few little touches because it is fun to come in here in the evenings and lay down and watch Hallmark movies. But after the first of the year, after Christmas, I should say, we want to redo this whole room. We have not painted in here. We don't even have like matching furniture or anything in here yet. So that's our next project. So didn't do too much, but I love what we added. All right, y'all, so that's gonna be it for my home tour for this year. I hope you guys loved it. We do, we think it's so cozy and inviting. I just love sitting in here and just looking all around. It just warms my soul and I could not be happier. So I hope that's the way it came across to you guys as well. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing amazing. I love you guys. Merry Christmas and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.